All right, have you ever had a reoccurring nightmare? Mine usually involves a tsunami and I don't know how to swim. Terrifying. That is really scary. Mine involves being overcharged for an impossible whopper because the BK app freezes up. Terrifying. Yes, I can see that. Well, we all have bad dreams, but what do they mean? Teresa Strasser looks at the science of nightmares. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. You go to bed hoping to get a good night's rest and all of a sudden you're being chased. Your heart is racing and then you're awake. Nightmares are dreams that have so much fear associated with them that they wake you up out of a state of sleep. Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, explains the science behind our nightmares. For starters, what causes nightmares? We think it has to do with emotional processing of difficult issues. Is the person going through a particularly traumatic time right then? Try to ease your mind before you hit the hay. If you're sitting there in bed, you know, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen tomorrow? Or, you know, you're sitting there talking to your spouse about some big issue that's going on. I can pretty much guarantee you're gonna have a crappy dream that you're not gonna like. Dr. Bruce has some recommendations that may help avoid unwelcome dreams. Number one, don't watch scary movies before bed, please, okay? That is no bueno for the dream department. Steer clear of alcohol and spicy food at least 90 minutes before bed. There's actually data to show that certain types of foods can induce stomach upset, which can lead to bad dreams. Next, what do nightmares mean? Men and women have different types of nightmares. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Men have a tendency to have nightmares about physical situations. Running, fighting, things of that nature. Whereas women's dreams? Actually has a tendency to be more on the emotional side, so maybe something that's going on with their family. The content of your nightmares may be a signal that you need to work on a personal issue. A second one is you could have an underlying sleep disorder that's coming out as a nightmare. Nightmares about drowning or choking on a giant marshmallow can mean you have sleep apnea. I actually hear that dream more often than you might imagine. Finally, your nightmares can also impact your day. When you reach a certain stage where you're breathing that hard and your heart rate is that fast, your body can't sleep, so it wakes up. And when you wake up from a nightmare, it's usually in a jolt. It's not so easy to fall back asleep after a nightmare. This disruption in your sleep may now affect your mood the next day. So it, depending upon where their nightmare occurs in the evening, if it happens towards the end, maybe they get four and a half or five hours of sleep. Even worse, lack of sleep can heighten negative emotions. Newsflash, when you're sleep deprived, it's worse. Your depression is worse, your anxiety is worse during these periods of time. So people feel trapped in this kind of washing machine of nightmare. If you do wake up, Dr. Bruce suggests. Count backwards from 300 by threes. You might think, what did he just say? Yes, there is math involved. The reason to try this is. It slows your thinking down, so it slows your heart rate. And guess what? Allows the natural sleep process to take back over and be able to fall back asleep. Turning off the nightmares so you can have a better day is at the top of the list.